Hey everyone, this is MT Racing here. Just doing another walk around of one of my other cars. It is a Nissan Skyline R34 GTT. And I'm going to be doing a walk around and just showing you the vehicle. So what we got here is an R34 GTT Aero Edition. And what that is, is the body kit of the car. Mainly the front bar area has been upgraded with a lot of different grooves and pieces of like that also it's got the side skirts over here as you can see it's got some red grooves over there this is all genuine from Nissan comes out factory if you come over to the back I've got the rear bar over here which is also a genuine Nissan factory part for the rear bar actually beautiful this car eh? Let's come over here this is in a silver color grayed out and that is an r34 gtt aero edition all right let's get into it a bit more so this is this one has the 18 inch volk gtc's two-piece raised wheels they are um, absolutely nice eh? it's got the lug nuts over there um, my car's got the GDR Brembo's R33 as an option um, just installed them by the previous owner got the drilled and slightly slotted brake discs over there as you can see they're nice these wheels are a two-piece wheel um, I've got the GDR <laughs> grayed out um, indicators over there they're actually nice um, come over here this is actually genuine from Nissan it's the rain wind deflector and you know it's got that genuine Japanese color as you can see um, the thing about this car was all the windows are genuine Nissan which was absolutely amazing even the front you know, as you can see where is it? there it is there uh, you can't really see it, but yeah, genuine Nissan front windows. There it is. Come over here. Also got the um, Japanese antenna still there. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking around. Yeah, the wheels are absolutely nice. They sit pretty flush because this one's been um, adjusted with the suspension, the coilovers, and the camber. Um, let's have a look. They're two six five thirty fives, eighteens on the rear, which are really really nice and fat for grip, um, and they are good years on them. Come back around to the back. So these, you can't go wrong with the R thirty four lights. You know, just look at them. Wow, you know. Come back here. You know, still got the nice T wing on the back. Not adjustable like the R thirty four GDRs. But um, it's still got the nice stance and the look. Um, coming back down here, I've got a HKS Liga Max exhaust system cat back. That is absolutely beautiful there. Come back around. Just such a great car, you know. Um, this one comes with the standard... Skyline, still genuine holographic sound, twin woofer system, which is very, very rare to get. And that's that's it for the outside. This is the interior of the R34 GTT Aero Edition. As you can see, it's got electronic mirrors, locking the window, locking the doors, front driver and passenger are electronic. Also, the Jap edition, it's got adjustable headlights for different height adjustments, as you can see. Um, they are with the dual bi xenon lights. It's got the Skyline steering wheel, which is very rare to get. Also, this was the Nismo 300 kilometers per hour cluster, which is very, very hard to get. And yeah, it doesn't really have 2,500 Ks, but yeah. <laughs> Um, moving our way, we've got the standard 
mounts which have been upgraded to the Nismo gauges for the volt, oil temp and boost which is up to 1.4 bar and the original one only goes to 1 bar. You know over here we've got the twin airbag come back around to the side interior. Really nice you know it's very roomy in the back as you can see. Nice leg space. Come back around and let's look at the center area. You know we've got the main air conditioning controls here, temperature, fan. Um, I've upgraded this to the Sony unit which is Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and this car actually has a reverse camera which is amazing. <laughs> um, back down here to the shifter, this is a GDR center console upgrade. You know you got some nice pockets over here, as you can see storage, another one there. It's not bad, it's got side pockets on both sides over there. Glove box, nice room. So the Skyline R34 GTTs really do have some nice space. Um, let's keep going over here. There's just another side pocket over here. And yeah, so that's pretty much the interior of the R34 So GTT. this is the engine, an RB25 DET Neo Edition. Uh, it's a 2.5 litre, 206 kilowatt, nearly 380 newton meters of torque. Um, it's a really, really good engine. It runs the T28 Turbo. It's pretty much standard. I've just got a boost here over here. Um, but that's pretty much the engine. Um, really, really, really strong and reliable engine since the R32 all the way up to the 34 running the RB series. Um, what else can I say? The only thing I don't like about the motor is the throttle body, how it crosses over the actual head just um and then there's just an extra piping for the intercooler also more works involved i guess to get the spark plugs and the coil packs um that's the only fault in the rb20 and rb25 series which they've upgraded that with the rb26 motor yeah but it's 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 a really great car and very reliable the panel's there when you need it especially in top gear and low revs compared to other four cylinder turbo cars so the two cylinders do make an absolute extra item for the motor that's the rb25 det neo edition let's go for a drive eh So pretty much what we've got here is an R34 GTT Aero Edition. The car is pretty much standard. The only mods it does have is a catback exhaust system. And oh, the lips a bit low. So it's pretty much just got a catback exhaust system, HKS item, 3 inch, um, standard cat. It's got also a boost controller in the engine bay, but it's only about another extra 1 or 2 psi from standard. So it's still running around the 0 0.6, 0 0.7 bar of boost. Um, yeah, I didn't want to boost it up only because it's still running the standard front mount. Uh, suspension wise, it's got coilovers, adjustable camber arms, uh, R33 GDR Brembo brakes. Uh, it's got a clutch on it, heavy duty, which is nice and smooth still. The car really drives good on the street, um, nothing more than that. It's a great example of an R34 GTT. Yeah, so I'll just go for a little drive around and I'll put my foot down so you can listen to it and I'll feel the power, you guys will listen to the power. But let's have a crack, eh? I'll do a first, second gear. So that's pretty much first and second gear. Can't go too much faster than that, I guess, but we'll just... Give it a cruise around. 
feel the gears in top end, you know, this car's amazing in top end. Uh, so pretty much, like, because it's a six cylinder, 2.5, you can be pretty much in top gear and sits on about under 2,000 RPM, doesn't choke or anything and still gets up and goes, you know. We'll get up to fifth gear on this road. Couple of dogs. So that's pretty much fifth gear now doing 70 kilometers an hour and sitting on 1700 RPM and just you know you just put your foot down straight away I'm on 90 80 90 kilometers an hour so yeah let's go have a look left here The cluster, the Nismo 300 kilometer cluster is just, it's just one of a kind, you know, it's amazing to look at, you know, with the GDR, the GDR has the 320 cluster, but as you can see, yeah, you know, just the center gauges here, the cluster, just the way the car's been built and handled is just, you know, that, it's a baby Godzilla, let's say that. Yeah, you know, like, the car grabs on the road perfectly. Built, built, excellent, you know, and from this end. They don't make cars like this anymore, I'll tell you that right now. You know, fifth gear, top end. Today is Anzac Day, so rest in peace lest we forget. Make a left here. Excellent for the car's pretty much standard, you know, but the car's absolutely amazing. The car's not too loud as well, the exhaust, the cat back is really nice and smooth but the thing is with the RB motors as soon as you how can I say it uh, as soon as you put put down the throttle it's that engine noise that just takes over you know which I'll just that airy RPM revving through the rev ranges that's it so you start to hear it about 5,000 RPM all the way up to redline you know just an amazing car car this is you know Got a lot of speed humps, eh? So that's pretty much the drive of the R34 GTT. I'll take it back now.
Well, thank you for watching um, my video and following my channel, MT underscore racing.